So let's see the question. The practice problem 10.3. We have to find current I naught. This is the current I naught using mesh analysis. So let's proceed. First of all, we mark the three currents in the three meshes or loops. We can mark any direction, then matter. This one we are calling I1, this one I2, and this one we have not given any name because this is the only current 10 uh, ampere, so this is 10 ampere current. And then we mark the polarities depending on the current. So, so wherever the current touches, I, I mark that point as positive and the other side negative. Similarly, positive, negative, positive, negative. And similarly, in the second loop also, this is positive, positive, negative, then positive, negative, and also on the upper loop. And now we are ready to uh, write the KVL equations. So first of all, mesh one, this mesh. Okay, by KVL, we can start from any place. I prefer to start from one corner, so we'll start from here, plus sign, 8i1, so 8i1, then we come here, there is a minus j2, although there is a plus sign, but we like minus j2, so minus j2 into i1, and when we come here, there are two currents actually, i1 and i2, since we are in mesh 1, so we will write i1 first, so j4 i1 minus i2, this is opposite direction, this is coming from top to bottom and this is going from bottom to top. That is why we'll have to use a minus sign. So this is for uh, uh, loop mesh one and we can just arrange uh, the values. So we uh, write it in this form or I'm writing it in this form because from here we can calculate the value of I2 in terms of I1. So I2 in terms of I1 will be this value from here and we will use this value in the subsequent equations. Okay, mesh 2 again we are starting from here. So J4 I2 minus I1 coming here 6 I2 minus now 10 uh, ampere uh, 6 2 sorry not minus plus because they are in the same direction this current is also going from left to right and this is also going from left to right so there will be plus sign and then this voltage source 5030 here also will arrange so opening and collecting the like terms so i2 terms i1 terms and these are the other ones and now we put in the value of I2 from here in terms of I1. And now uh, we'll try to simplify further. We are here. We take I1 common from these two. So I taking I common, we get this term here and we move the other two on the right hand side. And now from here, I1 can be found as this divided by the term in the bracket. So this is I1, but we need to simplify it. And if we find I1, I1, then we can find I0, although their directions are different, so we just need to put a minus sign. Okay, now this is a long way, the conventional way that we have been doing in the class. And you know, these two are in polar, we cannot add polars, therefore we have to convert them into rectangular. And similarly, we cannot multiply two rectangulars, we have to convert them into polars. So I have done all these steps. First of all, this we converted into rectangular, and the second one also converted into uh, a rectangular then all these in polar forms all three and now you can add these and you can multiply these so let's do that 
So adding these two, we get these values and multiplying left side is this value here and then minus j4 is still there. Now we have to add. So for that we have to again convert this into a rectangular form. So converting the denominator into rectangular form, uh, we are easy to we are ready to now add. And the numerator uh, from here it was rectangular form. We have to convert it into polar because this will also be converted in, into polar. Only then we can divide. So let's see that. So this was in polar and this is still simplified but in rectangular. We have to convert this into polar. So converting into polar. Now we are ready to divide. And so this is answer 5.968 and angle minus 11449. And now as we have discussed that I naught is I1 with the negative sign. So we can say that I naught is equal to minus I1. So we put a minus sign here, so minus this. But this is not light. Uh, minus here and then angle we have to convert this minus sign also in angles and if you recall uh, the relation between let's say 5 and minus 5 is 180 degree from 5 if you go 180 degree plus or you go 180 degree minus you go to the minus 5 also from minus 5 if you go to 180 degree plus or 180 degree minus to reach 5. So this relation we can use that from minus 5 we will use 580 degree. That means here also we will eliminate the minus sign and we will add 140 with this. So adding 140 our final answer comes to be 5.969 angle 65.45. So this is the answer given in the book. Now we'll uh, try to do a shortcut method that is by using the uh, scientific calculator. Let's see how we can do. So we were here and then we got this value. Now the, if, if you put this in the cal uh, calculator you will get an error. So we have to, because minus 60 and then angle that is not liked, so we have to convert this uh, with the 180 degree sign change. Or from here actually, what we have done is brought it here and now we'll do the sign change. So this whole thing is I1. So with sign change, we get this 60, 180, minus 530 and the denominator part. Now we can enter all this in one go into the calculator and get the answer. So I'll just uh, uh, show, I'll add the calculator so you can actually see how it is done. And once uh, we get this value, we convert it into polar. So this is the answer. Uh, and then for, as we did in the previous slide, for I0 we just write minus 1 or with this we can add 180 degree, so adding 180 degree, so our answer will be. And now let's see how we can so use now, uh, the cash you calculator we can to add calculate the calculator and this. this value. First of all, we have to clear everything, and also you have to keep in mind that you are in complex mode. If not, then you have to select complex mode from here alpha mode and 2 so we press 2 from here so we are in complex mode so that is important now since this calculation uh, involves uh, numerator and denominator and therefore we will select this and here it is now we'll enter the values in the denominator which is 60, 180 is the angle. So we put 60. And for angle, we have to use shift and this angle sign. And our angle is 180. So we enter 180. Minus 50, angle 30. So 
so minus 5050 again for angle shift and angle and 30 so the numerator part is done now we'll move into the denominator and the denominator we have first of all 6 plus 4j or j4 so we'll write 6 plus 4 and for j we actually use the sign i and we'll just press the engineering sign so we'll get i so 6 plus 4i bracket close then another bracket 8 plus 2i so 8 plus 2 and again i bracket close divided by 4i so we divide by 4i and then finally we subtract 4i so minus 4i so this part is done now let's find the answer we go there and then press equal sign so our answer is minus 2.48 and this value is so this is the real part and this is imaginary part 5.4297 but we want uh, this answer in the polar form. To do that, we have to come here and press shift and complex. This is complex so two. There are three options. We want option number three, that is R and theta, that is polar form. So we press three here and press equal sign. So this is the value we are looking for, 5.969. An angle is minus 114.552. So this is how you calculate uh, uh, using the scientific calculator.